welcome back to another episode of Case News. First of all, we'll start off with some student government announcements, and then we'll travel to a mystical land called Sports Update. Whoa! We've got some other things in store for you, but we do only have a certain amount of time, so that's it for on to the next episode! Bye! Are we doing derpy or serious right now? <laughs> derp. Okay. Derp, 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 derp. Welcome back to our stream, come down to everybody, Brooks here this time, she didn't have other things to do. <laughs> Pizza party! Wait, today's pajama day first, you wear them, nothing we can do, sorry! Okay, pizza party, November 29th. One slice, three dollars, drink is two dollars, candy is one dollar, a set of all of these things is five dollars. You save a dollar, yeah, money! You, you can sign up, not today, because I haven't made the posters yet. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> now, what is Secret Snowman? Secret Snowman, for all of you who don't know, which probably isn't to any of you, but anyways, that's a different story. So, uh, starting December 11th, You'll, if you wanted to be part of this, you'll have signed up, and then you'll get picked for a random person. You can't switch people if you don't like who it is. The person will be in your grade. You'll screw up the system if you switch. Please don't. Don't. You might not end up getting gifts if you screw up the system. So, anyways, you do that. You give them gifts secretly. They don't know who you are. At the end, you tell them, it was me, troll. <laughs> and then, yay, happiness. How do I give my secret snowman a gift? Well, if you don't want them to know who you are, which is the point, you can send somebody else to give them the gift that you got them. Oh, Brooke's my secret person, Anna. Can you give her these expo markers for me? Yeah, she'll love Thank these. You. Now go before she figures it out. Your secret snowman wanted you to have these expo markers. Here. Wow, that's so cool. I wonder who my secret snowman is. The world may never know <laughs> Hey, I'm your host, Zach, and I'm going to be talking about volleyball, basketball. So the stats for volleyball are um, <clears throat> JV has won four games and varsity has won two. I'm pretty sure they've had to forfeit a bunch of games. Uh, if you haven't signed up, signed up already, you should probably go do that. Hi, uh, how are you? Anyway, you probably know who I am from the intro. So anyway, let's just dive right into this case news sports update. So anyway, cross country has its final race on Monday. You better do good cross country or else we will blame you for losing. Um, cross country has also placed third overall. So yeah, that's good. You better keep this winning streak up. Okay, bye. November is Diabetes Awareness Month. Next, we will see writer interview Caleb about the Diabetes Walk. Yay! Hello everybody. My name is Ryder, and this is Caleb from 8th grade. We are going to talk about the walk that raised money to support the fight against type 1 diabetes. I'm, I'm Caleb, 8th grade, 13, and I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in September of last year. So, what is type 1 diabetes? Uh, type 1 diabetes is a chronic autoimmune disease that um, it's where your immune system starts attacking your pancreas so it can't produce insulin and insulin is a crucial cell to keep your body up and running and it allows sugar to pass through and power the cells. So what was this walk for and how does it help people with type 1 diabetes? So this walk was a outcome of a fundraiser that was happening for the past Two months and it raised in all um, all San Francisco 1.2 million dollars which is um, a lot of money our team got insulin raised twenty thousand four hundred and fifty six dollars um, which is um, way more than I would have expected um, we had some very generous donors and um, 10, 10 people from the, from my grade showed up and more from um, 6th and 7th and it was just a, it was very heartwarming to see the generosity that I have never seen from our grade in school. Well, thank you. Welcome to the first episode of New Things at Case, where we will be talking about all the new things happening around here. At the end of each episode, we will have a funny face winner. If you have a funny face and want to be named Funniest Face, please come talk to us. 
Any, anyways, as you guys know, the eighth graders took an SSAT last week. So we will be interviewing Anuheya and Lena. How long was the SSAT? The SSAT was a little longer than three hours. Um, were you surprised about how hard or easy it was? Um, it wasn't really surprising. Like, I knew what to expect, except that before you take the SSAT, you're all stressed and stuff. But really, when you're taking it, it's just relaxing and go with the flow. How long was the SSAT? The SSAT was a little longer than three hours. Um, what would you tell people to focus on next time? We focus on staying on task and keeping track of time so that you can get everything done. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for, for coming. coming. Okay, done. Um, and here is the first contestant, Coco Tao, for the funny face contestants. Always trust gravity. Do you have any other wise words of wisdom? Oh. Never go hiking in bear country without someone slower than yourself. And welcome to the meme of the episode segment of Case News. In order for the meme of the episode to work, we need your help. So what you guys can do is send a meme idea to Ian underscore Shannon.